Sup guys, it's good with 52 and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, you subscribe and you drop a comment down below if this is something that you've enjoyed. I basically did a load of like uh, b-roll shots throughout the week of stuff I've done and not been able to stitch it together to something. So um, today I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to do something with it, put it all together, go into the woods and film something. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So guys, this is my little spot in the woods that I like to film in. And what I wanted to talk about today is uh, just basically, I've been working really hard on this YouTube thing, I've been really enjoying it, but I think I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself to do it. And I've been watching videos like 20 tips for new starters, 10 mistakes new YouTubers always make. And I don't think that's helping. I think in fact it's having like a more detrimental effect because I'm overthinking everything. Oh, you know, I want to be viral, I want to do this, I want to do this. And that's not actually why I started doing it. I didn't start it because I wanted to do like, I want to do a one day YouTube, but I didn't start it just so I can just give up my day job and live a comfortable life and all that. I did it because I enjoy doing it and I've learnt so much by doing it. Um, and I just feel like I've been putting myself under pressure about like what are people going to like, what are people going to watch. And actually, no, I'm just making the content because I enjoy doing it. So, um, yeah, that's really what I wanted to talk about. So I've been having problems for the last couple of days, you know, stitching together random bits of clips that I've been filming and it's just not making sense of a narrative. And I think, well, would anyone watch this? So today I thought, no, screw that. Uh, I binge watched a load of Peter McKinnon videos and they put me in a massive positive mood, full of motivation. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to make a really good video and that's going up soon. And all my videos are going to be, be good from there forward. So one of the things I spoke about in the bits that I filmed yesterday here was I was talking about the state of giveaways. Um, so I've been thinking of doing an Instagram giveaway and I probably am going to get that sorted soon. But the thing is I've been shying away from doing one for so long because I don't want it to just be like well let's just do one so I can get more followers and I can get more exposure. I want to do it because I want to give something back. So I've been trying to come up with some ideas and I'd like to know from you guys what you would want to see in, the, in a giveaway. Do you want to see some, uh, like I've got some magic books I can give away, I've got some magic decks that I can give away, do you care if they're open or sealed, if they're barely used? You want some framed photography that I've been doing so these are just some options so if you drop a comment down below and just let us know anything that you would like um, I'll be doing a giveaway soon hopefully. So this week so far uh, I went to go see my brother, it was his birthday and we celebrated that in Berry, which is just down the road. And I've managed to film some cool footage from like the botanical gardens there. Uh, the weekend just gone. It was my brother-in-law's birthday, he's one. Went out to Pizza Hut and anyone who knows me in the real world knows that I absolutely love food and I love eating. So I went in on food and now I've got a week off from my day job. So I'm going to be making loads and loads of content this week. I'm just going to fill my week up with filming and just making some great stuff for you guys. So if there's any stuff that you want to see, like reviews, you want to see a tutorial that I can teach. On the subject of tutorials though, I don't want to just do tutorials just to get my YouTube up there or my Instagram up there. Um, I want to do tutorials because you guys want to learn something or it's something that I've sort of 
thought of and not seen anywhere else and I want to share it with you guys because I think it's a good idea. With tutorials, I'm not going to be teaching other people stuff. I don't want to be te like getting into trouble. I don't want to be doing stuff like that. I'm going to teach stuff that I've genuinely thought about. I've looked up, i found that it's nowhere else and it's just something fun that I enjoy doing. So if you want to see tutorials like that, drop a comment down below and let me know. And I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging like this. If this is something that you've enjoyed, I would definitely keep doing it. Um, and I feel like every video is just getting better. Um, I've just been making stuff and filming and enjoying it so I'm just going to keep doing that because it's a lot of fun and I think I just keep putting myself into this sort of negative space. If you do that drop a comment as well down below and um, we'll have a chat, we'll get together, we'll talk, you know maybe we could get out the funks together hopefully. So I realise that I've been talking for now to come up to five minutes just thinking let's just see some cool b-roll that I've been filming for the last couple of days and finally I get to stitch some stuff together and put it out the hair. I definitely did not wrap up warm for this. This is much colder than it was yesterday. So another thing I just want to quickly mention. So a lot of people who I work with are like, how do you keep up with your content creation? Like, you're always taking pictures and filming and editing. How do you keep it up? And I use a bujo or a bullet journal. So those of you who've never seen a bujo before or a bullet journal, it's this. So I like to use Dingbat's um, bullet journal as it has vegan friendly leather, um, and it's quite an ethically sourced company. I just basically, I, I write down like a content tracker for the month, a mood tracker for the month, just so I can keep on track of what I'm doing. As well as that, I also have like a week to week going on where I write down like, this day I'm creating this, this day I'm creating this. I need to get props for this picture and this for this. So it really helps out in keeping up to date with my content. And it's something that if you struggle with trying to make content, you're like, oh, I haven't made anything for the last two weeks, three weeks. Definitely something I advise because it is, since doing it since January, I've been much more on top of actually creating content and I've been able to get ahead of myself rather than going, right, okay, I need to quickly take a picture for, this, for today's Instagram post. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, it's already done in advance because I'm already planning ahead. Oh, hello, little dog. Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that video and you hope you enjoyed watching the B-roll as well. I'm trying to get a bit more artsy and uh, it's very difficult, very limited with what I actually have. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a comment down below, make sure that you subscribe, go check out my Instagram which is in the description below and look forward to all the content that will be coming in the near future. I will see you on the next one. Bye! Show us how it's done.
スターね。